So we have a hurricane heading our way. Again, this one, our town is like in the direct path as of right now. The path might change. So today is Monday, it's supposed to make landfall on Wednesday and there's still like room for margin of error for the track to shift. Right now though, uh, we're dead center in the, in the middle of it. So got to kind of move all of my decorations inside today. Don't want them being blown away. That'll be after work. But it's gloomy out, but I love it. I don't want a hurricane to hit us, but I love the, the weather. It's kind of getting rid of that Florida summer, which I'm happy with. It's four o'clock. Gonna go get Andrew. And we're gonna go see if we can find some gas for the car. Um, there's been reports that there's many places in town and around town that are out of gas because of the upcoming hurricane. So we're gonna go see if we can find some. Let's go. It's a little after four. We're gonna go try and find gas ahead of this impending hurricane. People are panicking saying they can't get gas. And so we're just gonna go see if it's actually an issue or not and get gas ourselves. Yep, so wish us luck. Let's go see. <laughs> Maybe, it looks like maybe that only the pumps on the end have some left. There's a line for the pumps on the end. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's a line just for the last pumps. Yeah, the first two are canceled out. Uh, yeah, there's a line. We can try waiting in line. Yep, yeah, it's only four cars, so. Struck out at 7 Eleven. <laughs> and off to the next one we go. We have 110 miles till we're empty, but only need to do a few so we don't just waste it. Not that we can go anywhere. All right, trying gas station number two. <laughs> go, go, go. All right. The nerves are setting at nope. Nope. Uh, there's someone on the end. Let's try for the inside. found gas with a large line, but we found it. <laughs> but are we gonna waste more gas just? I know, I don't know, but the gas truck just left. There's the line to get in to, to Wawa's. Okay, everything's full. behind that black one so you moved up four cars <laughs> been in the car 41 minutes gone 15 miles found zero gas <laughs> on our way home but wow 41 minutes 
waste like 15 miles worth of gas. Oh man. So it's like a gallon. <laughs> 16 miles now. <laughs> Good morning, fam. Um, it's a bit of a somber tone in the air today. <clears throat> it's Tuesday and we have one of the largest hurricanes the Bay Area has seen coming in over a hundred years, coming at us uh, at 2 a.m. Thursday, so Wednesday into Thursday. And we'll be fine. Like our house is a newer built house. It was built to withstand hurricane winds. We have hurricane windows, but um, it's really hard to explain the feeling. The highways are completely gridlocked ever since la yesterday. Still gridlocked this morning. There's no gas. Andrew went out at about 5 a.m. this morning to try and find gas. He went to three different places, but he did successfully manage to fill a car up. So that makes me feel a little better. Not that we're planning on going anywhere, but yeah, it's a somber day. Okay. Getting ready for Hurricane Milton. What you doing? Just put it up uh, the fence tight down so it doesn't come up at all. Yep. I'm gonna take all this stuff inside now. It's coming. Hey fam. Uh, Tuesday afternoon. Just like you saw, getting hurricane ready. Um, we're pretty much as ready as we're gonna be. Just bringing in the last of our outdoor stuff. There are some people around the community that have boarded up their windows. They have sandbags, but um, yeah. Like I said earlier, it's just a somber feel to the day today. Andrew and I went on our on a lunch walk, and people were outside getting ready and. Every single person stopped us and, you know, good luck guys, how are you guys doing, you know, not that it's a silver lining, but there is such a sense of community that comes out in situations like this where we all look out for each other, so there is something to be said about that, but it's the anticipation that's kind of the worst part right now, because it's Tuesday at 1 o'clock right now. We're not gonna start, it's not gonna make landfall till like 2 a.m. Thursday, but we'll start getting the beginning of wind and rain tomorrow. So, oh, you know what I wanna do is actually go fill some um, Ziploc bags with water and put them in the freezer just to make extra like ice and stuff. We have, you know, yeah. make some more ice actually, um, but make some ice stand it up just in case it spills yeah so the store is secure won't go anywhere oh yeah right, the bird bath inside save mickey share the love almost forgot about mickey you did <laughs> we also have the charcoal grill too oh true there you go you're safe. Alrighty, fam. It is Tuesday at 4.30. We are heading back into Publix. Mostly just to get like Gatorade. I want some cough drops for my throat. Some, like little things, not really like hurricane things, but they're closing early at five today for um, the employees to be able to go home. So. Let's go. Apparently, chips are in high demand for a hurricane. Oh my gosh. 
I can't talk because I also bought a couple bags the other day, but my goodness. Crackers too. My gosh. Again, like understandable, non-perishable, but anyone need Gatorade? Well, too bad. You don't get any. I don't even know what this was. Anyone need some water? Too bad. Hi fam. Um, today is the day. It is Wednesday morning. All of our patio furniture has been brought in, the grill, guard bath. There they are. We have some coolers with ice in case we lose power. I should check on my bag of water. My ingenious idea. <laughs> Look, it's ice. I got my Windy City shirt on. It's two on the nose. Okay, um, we, our area is under tornado watch now. Um, honestly, we get put under tornado watch with most storms. Um, it's never affected us, knock on wood. I don't have any wood. That's not wood. Um, but yeah, under tornado watch and just going about our day business as usual. So, hey, hello. We just parked our car. We were told um, it helps prevent the garage door from kind of damage and being blown off. <laughs> yeah, and uh, say that there's a a debris or object that comes, hits the car, pr protects the door. Yeah, so got that going. We're as prepped as we can be. Yes. How are you feeling, Andrew Story? Great. Yeah? It's just gonna be super windy. Yep, exactly. Now if my wife didn't get me sick. Oops, Andrew is filling up his bathtub with water. Um, so you fill up your bathtub with water, you fill up the washing machine with water just to have water in case you need to flush the toilet, whatever. That means that he has to use my bathroom. Um, so I'm going to go clean it real quick, but yeah. Hi. Hello. Our bed for the night. No, my bed for the night. My bed for the night. <laughs> 12.36, the first sound of thunder is here so it's coming it's 1 p.m let's get one last look outside it's raining we have all right um we're gonna sign off now because it's coming um, just wanted to say thank you. What are we thanking them for? Just wanted to say thank you. Um, we for everyone who's reached out yeah. and concerned about us. It means a lot. It does. We've gotten everyone, people I didn't expect, like, just reaching out. So we feel your love. We feel your concern. We appreciate it. A lot of people have asked why we haven't evacuated. We didn't evacuate because we're not in an evacuation zone. That's really for people who have to worry about storm surge the surge and flooding we're not in um an area that has to worry about that we don't have big trees around our house that could fall on it yeah we have a new construction home that they're by code they're supposed to stand up to like 160 miles an yeah. hour or something per hour and we're in a concrete home so like most people can kind of probably get stranded on the highway because yeah. there's no gas yeah and there's so much traffic it's um prayers to everybody being affected by the storm we're sleeping downstairs tonight because it's safer because we have concrete foundation downstairs foundation walls yeah. walls um we have food and water on both levels in case we're stuck on one of them um but yeah we're gonna sign off we will see everyone later thank you again our heart goes out to everybody affected by the storm everyone stay safe bye fam ciao